do a quick video. I have a hair appointment to go to, so I'm gonna make this pretty quick. So today, I just try to do if statements, if else statements, essentially. Um, uh, yeah, let's make it simple. So evaluator. Um, let's go to the test first. So. <sighs> Tests, let's make a test uh, if else um, expressions uh, T testing Let's do this. So test uh, struct input string expected interface. So like, for example, we have a struct here. Uh, if true, For example, we have if false, then it should be what well, I don't know. What do you know? Uh, okay, I see. Uh, if so, we have some truthy statements. This should also be um, also. We have if one less than two, one greater than two. I should add some spaces, but hmm. if Uh, one greater than two, uh, ten. Mm -hmm. I already did that though. Oh, else. Twenty. So this should be twenty. Okay, now so we get evaluated. Test eval TT dot input. 
uh, and then integer okay tt dot expected to be an integer if not okay uh actually if okay then uh test integer object with the test the evaluated with the int 64 of the integer else it might be a null like the example uh, test null object so we don't have I don't know if we have this yet funk Uh, object object dot object can't even spell funk If object does not equal, hold on, do we put an expected? No. Um, does not equal null. Uh, return t dot error uh, f object is not null. Got percent t percent uh, per v uh, we can say object object actually we're not returning this return false turn True. So we should actually fail most of it, but because because um, if we go here, we didn't add this. We need to add it in our eval. Here, let's add another one. Case. AST ex expression or not expression block statement. Oops. So, how do we parse this or how do we evaluate this? Uh, we'll return eval statements. Uh, return eval statements, which is no dot statements. Yeah. Um, and then let's do another one. We should add if no, nope. wait, if expression, then we pass in the node. Oops. Uh, expressions. Right, is that what we want? Should take an I if expression is t dot if expression 
which will return an object dot um, object <coughs> a condition here uh, dot condition uh, if is truthy is truthy with the condition right then return eval i dot consequence consequence let's write this too funk bool and it should take an object dot ob object um, so switch the object we're gonna do this so we have a case where it's null well, that should be falsey return false or the boolean false case where it's an integer or like true return true or true um case where it's false return false case where it's true false what else we an integer or default is true turn true right yeah else uh, return eval ie dot alternative makes sense right well not necessarily else it should be else if else if um what was the condition i or i dot alternative does not equal nil otherwise turn no yeah makes sense makes sense pretty simple pretty simple so if we type this um, let's test this what do we fail test if else expression uh, test if else expression let's see which one so if true then we get 10 if false we should get nothing yep if true we should get 10 if that's true so we should get 10 if that's false so we should not get 10 no actually we just get rid of that right yeah this is not true so we got 20 this is true so it gets 10 so yeah beautiful um we can actually try let me get out of this real quick oops Git commit um, evaluates if else exp um, expression. <sighs> okay, let me try to do CD into REPL. Actually, no, no, no. go run main dot go. Um, if true true if one is greater than 10 uh, one is less than 10 um, say 10 else one oh wait do we
Hold on, why does mine not work? Because his started to work. Hold on. Since we were able to do all of this, what will this equal? See, that's our problem. We didn't update our REPL. It should be able to parse things now. Oh, wait. Did we forget a step? Like, we should be able to evaluate. Yeah. Maybe I forgot to pull from... Um, oh my goodness, I forgot to put this part. Completing the REPL. Scanner.text, yep, Lexer, parser.new, program, parse.program. Evaluate, yeah, I forgot to evaluate a line. Um, eval... Um, you aided evaluate wait do i need to add that too oh nice beautiful um dot eval put in the program um if evaluated um well, i mean if does not equal nil Oh my god. Let's see. If it's single, io.write string out evaluated dot inspect uh, out. We'll put a new um, nine. Um, so if I put five, five plus five, it should actually eval. Did it, are we supposed to not print those? Hold on. Uh, evaluator value dot go. No, no, no. Repl. I think we don't need to do this. Like, we don't really care about the parsing stuff, so. So like five plus five is actually gonna be evaluated. Um, that is true, I don't know why. I don't think it has done that yet. Or, oh yeah, let x equals 5, 10 plus 10 times 2. I guess we don't have that yet. Like the memory yet. We don't have memory. That's that's going to be, we'll do that later. But now, the biggest thing was, if 1 greater less than 2, else, um, or, um, what is it? If one less than two um, if one less than two say 10 otherwise say 100 nice okay so we got that working I think that's a good enough stopping point we'll do tomorrow return statements but yeah thanks for watching I'll see you for tomorrow